The following program is brought to you by the Midas Gold Group. This is the Gold Standard from Midas Gold Group with Kenneth Russo. Hello, I'm Dave Dino. Welcome to the Gold Standard, your source for secure investment opinion and information on the advantages of purchasing and owning precious metals. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced collector, this is the program that gives you a realistic weekly perspective on the state of the economy, reliable information about using precious metals, such as gold, silver, and platinum, to safeguard your wealth, and remarkable details about specific precious metal coins and bullion. Ken Russo is a senior vice president at Midas Gold Group, and his peers characterize him as a straight shooter who will work harder for you than anyone else. Ken, welcome. Good to be back with you again today. Always nice to be with you, Dave. Our topic today, and this is one we've alluded to in a lot of different ways, but our topic today as we zero in on what's going on in the economy is the everything crash, what it might look like. But first, let's take a look at some of the news of the day. Now, the stock market is undulating between gains and losses day to day. Have you ever seen it this volatile or maybe this sensitive to world events? Um, I've seen it volatile, Dave, but I got to be honest with you, uh, even some action this week in Netflix and uh, Facebook, which are two huge companies, and they literally lost 20% plus in a day um, overnight. I don't recall ever seeing big, huge companies like that have such a volatile uh, close to open, you know, from one night to the next morning before. So I would say the volatility right now and the sensitivity is about as high, if not the highest that I've ever seen. I saw an article today. It was titled Morgan Stanley details reasons why stock investors should stay defensive and avoid getting too optimistic. And two of those reasons really jumped out at me. And that was Earnings are slowing down, and consumer confidence is in the tank. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm glad Morgan Stanley knows all the answers, or has all <laughs> the answers, right? But um, uh, what I would always say is this, and let's let's get, you know, right down to it. You can't have all of your eggs in one basket. You can't speculate with 100% of your money. we just gone through 10 years of a huge stock market move and you know that has to be respected but nothing goes up forever so if something is going to be stretched one way it's only natural that eventually it snaps back and and goes the other way so you know we've been 52 years now dave since uh we've um, gone off the gold standard in 1971 we have huge debt huge money printing you know, huge liabilities that nobody could really fathom. It's a very dangerous financial time and the financial system, you know, I contend is on its last leg from how we know it. And that's going to lead us to our very serious topic today here on The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group, and that is the everything crash, what it might look like. And Ken, let's begin. Let's go back in history for a moment. We'll begin with the uh, words of President George Bush Sr. Back in 1990, and this is more than 30 years ago, he said, Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge. Ken, that concept of a new world order, what does that mean to our financial stability and well-being? Well, you know, the goal of a one world uh, currency, Dave, one world government, uh, one world uh, control, uh, you know, to remain uh, to this day uh, for the evil powers that be. This is only uh, possible if the United States falls, you know, financially, politically, socially, economically, um, you know, whatever it is, the financial system, as you and I know, it seems to be changing dramatically. Um, and it seems to be on its last legs, you know, whatever, whatever this is, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a gut feeling and considering everything that we see going on these days, you know, Dave, I don't think it's as far as way, uh, away as you would think. Um, if we consider the control, 
you know, that's attempted by world governments right now and the fiat currency system, uh, commercial real estate, you know, the banking uh, system, global equity markets, um, you know, and everything crash is headed right towards this way. And I mean, it almost seems inevitable. So this is the everything crash that would allow the possible dream of a new world order by the central bankers. Remember, the central bankers are trying to control everything. And they're in cahoots right now with all of the world governments. Um, they've overstepped their boundaries and their charters. And uh, the central bankers are now in control of this central bank world economy. This whole idea of a new world order, that was in his speech 30 years ago. Where are we today after those words by the president? Where are we now? Well, unfortunately, I think that the central bankers, in my opinion, have done a horrible job with the uh, financial stability of this of this country and of this world. Now the whole world is doing it. You know, it's all about paper money. Um, people are so reliant on debt. Governments are so reliant on debt. And uh, these Federal Reserve notes, you remember we talked about, Dave, that mm -hmm. they're not even called uh, dollars anymore. They're called Federal Reserve notes. Uh, they were first issued after the creation of the Federal Reserve si System all the way back in 1913. Wow. Um, and before 1971, any Federal Reserve note issued was theoretically, Dave, backed by a legally specified amount of gold, you know, that was held by the U.S. Treasury. Uh, though since 1933, private citizens were not allowed to actually redeem them for uh for gold dollars. Now, since 1971, all fiat currencies are now backed by nothing. It's, you know, kind of the birth of the petrodollar. So that's uh, over a little over 50 years old. Um, the average uh, span of a fiat currency in history is a, is a little bit more than 50 years. So, wow. you know, we're, we're right, we're right there. Um, all fiat currencies have lost about 97 to 99% of their purchasing power versus gold over the last 50 years. Um, the fiat experiment that started in 1971, Dave, it's in its final stages. You know, a, a one world central digital currency uh, would be a great way to finally eliminate all of our financial freedoms, uh, any financial privacy that we have left. Um, the fall of the fiat system is a great way to know that the everything crash, you know, is right around the corner. So where does paper money compared to gold. If I am holding a dollar bill in one hand and a piece of gold, a gold coin, let's say, in another hand, what's the comparison? Well, I mean, one of them is, uh, is currency where we can go to stores or, you know, pay for our bills and, and we're forced to use, uh, you know, the paper fiat system uh, to a degree. And, and that particular product always loses it's purchasing power and it's buying power. It always buys less in the future. So that's what our money is supposed to be. Uh, and that's what it is, but not strong, not reliable, uh, and definitely uh, falls in value. The dollar always buys less. In the other hand, you have st something that's been money, physical gold for 3000 years. It's it's always held its purchasing power. Um, it's It's gone up in value dramatically in the last 20 or 30 years, uh, because there's only a finite, um, you know, amount of it. Uh, it's always had value. Um, and in my opinion, should be a significant part of any diversified portfolio at this point, you cannot hold 100% of your assets in paper, not uh, acceptable at this point at all. Ken, most people have never dealt with the process of buying gold. And we could be talking about a lot of money being transferred from IRAs or old 401ks or from cash reserves. And that, that can lead sometimes to a person doing nothing. How do you help people to accomplish this, let's say, economically and uh, with assurance? Well, Dave, I don't think anybody's ever really accomplished anything by doing nothing, you know, but uh, sometimes you can, uh, you know, be numb and uh, and frozen and, and afraid to make a decision. But that's kind of why we're talking about that now, because once the markets start to crash and once the financial system starts to falter dramatically, and, and it could happen as early as this year, 
literally. Mm -hmm. That's how close we are. Um, you have to make decisions while your mind is relatively clear. You know, when you when you have the ability to be uh, proactive instead of reactive, uh, these are the times to make those decisions. So, you know, we still have time uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, the best time to buy gold would have been 20 years ago, <laughs> but the second best time to consider it is today. And I, I still believe that gold is as cheap uh, today as it was 30 or 40 years ago at significantly lower prices. If you look at all the money that's been printed, if you look at all that our dollars been devalued and will be devalued, if you look at the, the change in the financial system, gold still offers value. It's still available. And I would alert people right now to be significantly overweight physical gold start to lighten up on paper, lighten up on uh, different sorts of uh, equities. We're not financial advisors. We're not giving financial advice. But with everything that's going on out there, to me, in my gut, I'm, I'm scared. And I believe that there's other people out there that, that feel the same way. A reminder here that you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And today our topic is the everything crash and what it might look like. In a few moments, we're going to take a look at a specific gold product that can add to your secure wealth. And that's coming up right after this. I'm here with Midas Gold Group's senior trader and Marine Corps veteran, James Clark. James, why are people investing in gold and silver? Well, Dr. Gorka, the Federal Reserve supplies money to pay for congressional spending. As Congress expands spending, the Fed has no choice but to keep printing money at an accelerated rate. This causes the dollar to fall and gold to increase. So as the Fed and Congress devalue the dollar, what can people do? As the nation's number one veteran-owned precious metals dealer, we offer diversification strategies in the form of precious metals. As Congress looks to the Fed for more money, investors look to gold and silver to protect their nest egg. And I recommend that you look to Midas Gold Group for all your precious metal needs. Call Midas Gold Group for their guide to owning bullion and coins today. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-4653 or MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of the Gold Standard brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. Our topic today is the everything crash, what it might look like. And if you, by the way, live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, we invite you to come and visit our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com. That's MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S. Now, for those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855 322 gold by the numbers 855-322-4653. Now, let's take a look at a specific gold product. And this is one, Ken, that we've not spoken of before. It's the 50 pesos gold coin. This gold coin has uh, an interesting history as well as an enhanced value, right? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a unique coin, Dave. I mean, uh, the 50 pesos gold coin, it's also known, known as the uh, Centenario coin. Uh, it's beautiful, uh, majestic Mexican bullion coin. It contains 1.2057 troy ounces of 21.6 carat gold. So it's a little, little more browner than, say, a, a gold buffalo or a gold Britannia or a, or a gold uh, maple leaf. Um, it's ideal day for investors because of the extra amount of gold and the universal ease of uh, liquidation. The only uh, caveat is they don't really make that many of them anymore. But mm. today, Dave, many investors are drawn to the beauty and the allure of the 50 peso and often pay a uh, hefty price and premium for this coin. Um, it's many times rarer than the Cougar and, and pretty much rarer than mostly all other modern bullion coins. And we're going to talk about what it looks like in just a moment. A reminder here that you are listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And today, our topic is the everything crash, what it might look like. Uh, Ken, can you give us a real quick, brief uh, description of the 50 pesos uh, gold coin? Yeah, sure, Dave. I have one right here. It's mm -hmm. um, 
the obverse or the heads side of the coin depicts the winged goddess Nike, mm. uh, which means victory. And the and the reverse of the coin or the tail side shows a golden eagle devouring a rattlesnake. It's a it's a real neat uh, depiction mm -hmm. of that scene. It's a uh, it's from the Mexico coat of arms. Mm. And unlike other gold coins from Mexico, uh, Dave, the 50 pesos gold coin is highly liquid on the world stage. It's like all gold bullion coins, uh, value increases over time as the price of gold has doubled every seven years since 1971 on average. Um, and in this particular case, the supply is extremely limited. The demand is high. And we would recommend that if you can get your hands on some 50 pesos, we do have access to them. Um, I would do that for wealth preservation. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. How do we preserve our wealth with different physical gold products? And the 50 peso fits that bill. And our listeners can actually see the 50 pesos gold coin on your website. That's over at MidasGoldGroup.com. You're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And today our topic is the everything crash, what it might look like. And we'll continue with that in just a moment. Dr. Sebastian Gorka here. Part of the so-called Great Reset from the multinational elite is to enact a digital wallet currency. Think of the implications. Time to create your own gold standard with a call to the dealer I do business with, veteran-owned Midas Gold Group, the America First precious metals experts who can help you with IRAs and more. Get your portfolio reset with gold and silver. Call Midas Gold Group for their guide to owning bullion and coins today. 855-322-GOLD. That's 855 855- 322-4653 or MidasGoldGroup.com. We continue now with the Gold Standard brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. If you live, by the way, in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, we would love to see you come and visit us in person at our local office to meet with us. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com. That's MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD, by the numbers 855-322-4653. We're talking with Ken Russo, Senior Vice President at Midas Gold Group, and on today's program, our topic is the everything crash, what it might look like. Ken this issue of having a central bank control our country's currency, it has not always been supported by our leaders, has it? No, not at all. Um, you're right, Dave. And, um, you know, specifically, uh, Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy wow. you know, did not like the idea of a central bank and the control of a central bank. Neither, neither did Thomas Jefferson, you know, who uh, closed down actually the second uh, central bank attempt here in uh, in the United States. We've mm. actually had three central bank failures, and uh, now the Fed is, well, who knows, maybe it's going to be for sure number four. So wow. we'll, we'll see. You know, the Federal Reserve Bank was formed during a secret meeting in, in 1913 at Jekyll, Jekyll Island, um, you know, <laughs> Jekyll Island, right, with a hide result. So yeah. since then, $1 in 1913 is equivalent to uh, about $28 today. You know, this is a price increase. You might devalu you might say it's a devaluation, Dave, of, of over 2,700% wow. since 1913. So the value of gold in 1913 was $20.67, and the price of gold today is... Uh, is over $1,800 per ounce, and as you can see, has kept its purchasing power. Ken, our topic today has been the everything crash and what it might look like. Any last warnings? Well, we've been talking about this for a while, Dave, you know, and it's not that we're not uh, people who like to, to take opportunity. We don't. We do believe that different markets offer different opportunities if, if that's what you know what, what, what to do and how to do it. And, and if you're an expert in those particular things, then there's, you know, there's a chance to make money. But today, I think that we need to play some defense. And I think for sure that we need to diversify. Mm. And there's just too much speculation too much um, gambling, so to speak. You know, you can't have all of your assets in something where overnight you could lose 25, 30, 40 percent, which we're starting to see here in some of these big stocks. So, um, you know, 
you might say that I've saved the worst for last, but you know, many commercial real estate buildings right now, Dave, are uh, you know in trouble. A lot of these rents have been pushed off for two years. Evergrande, the second largest property developer in China, is on the verge of collapse. It faces default. You know what's what's going to happen to all of these assets that back this debt? You know that's going to it's going to crash too. So mm -hmm. financial markets are widely expecting China's Communist Party government to let Evergrande fail, to send a message. Um, you know, how many other commercial real estate entities are going to be in trouble? I mean, look at some of these uh, cities here in the United States. You have San Francisco, uh, Austin, Texas, uh, you know, Seattle, even Los Angeles and New York. Some of these vacancies, commercial assets in some of these some of these vacancies are down 40, 50, 60, 70 percent over wow. the last couple of years. So, you know, we're not coming back 100 percent. We're just not. It's just the way it is. Um, you know, if 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 debt behind these assets implodes, Dave, mm. um, the value of these assets also implodes. Mm -hmm. You know, if interest rates rise, which they are expected to as the Fed unwinds all of this debt on its balance sheet, residential real estate is also at a risk of seeing a dramatic fall in in prices so it's a big shell game and eventually like you and i have been saying debt will matter you know it has to you know and we have historic high valuations the commercial real estate sector is in in disarray you know the pandemic and everything else with mandates uh, is still being promoted heavily by mainstream media and the government and uh Sadly to say, I think um, a lot of it is going to correct itself dramatically and um, it will be to the downside. Yeah. So, you know, that's kind of what you and I are talking about and uh, and why people should be kind of preparing for the next 10, 15 years. So, Ken, what's the next step? Well, think about diversifying with physical gold and silver. And uh, if you wanted to choose Midas Gold Group to uh, to try and have a chance to to earn your business and be your gold and silver dealer, we will investigate, you know, for every client, the best way to protect their wealth by moving a portion of their investments, you know, like stocks, mutual funds, annuities, CDs, money markets, cash reserves into physical gold and physical silver, uh, coins and bars that they can hold on to either in their own possession or inside of their retirement account, make it real easy. Uh, and I do believe for those who can sidestep the next financial crisis, and it's getting closer every every day, every week, it's it's right around the corner. I do believe for those that diversify and own gold and silver with Midas Gold Group and in their own possession, they will have a much better chance to succeed financially and, and survive this financial chaos that's on its way. And gold and silver, that's its primary role. And I would encourage them to start that process today. And that is why I own gold from Midas Gold Group. Ken, thank you so much. My pleasure, Dave. That's going to bring us to the end of our time together today here on The Gold Standard with Ken Russo, brought to you by Midas Gold Group. And a reminder, opinions given here are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. For answers to your questions, call Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, that's 855-322-4653. And the website is MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. The Midas Gold Group is proud to be America's number one veteran-owned gold dealer, supporting veterans' causes with a portion of profits donated to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Semper Fi Fund. So your investment in your future is also an investment in the future of those who have bravely served the cause of freedom. Again, the number to call to speak directly with Midas Gold Group is 855-322-GOLD. One more time, 855-322-GOLD. Ken, 
Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thanks for your time, Dave. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. I'm Dave Dino, and I hope you'll come and join us again next week at this same time for another edition of The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard was brought to you by the Midas Gold Group.